on the VK2 RAG 2 meter repeater on 146 decimal 725 megahertz. Ooh. Hang on a second. Do, do. Whoopsies. <laughs> I've just realized, for those folks that are sitting on the stream, is my radio was still set to split. So as soon as I went to transmit, as it decided to pop itself out onto the FT8 frequency, which I really, really don't want. So that's not the nicest of things to go off and have. Let's, let's try that one again. Now, good evening, everybody. This is Brad, VK2NMZ for the Central Coast Seminar Radio Club Thursday evening, 2 meter net. Uh, this net is held on the VK2 RAG repeater on 146.725 MHz with a 91.5 Hz tone. Uh, normal, this net is also streamed live via our, the club social media page on Facebook. You can find that at Central Coast Amateur Radio Club, where, as I mentioned, this is streamed live. Echo Link at this point is currently unavailable just due to, due to some hardware faults and my lack of time of being able to get up get up to the repeater site to investigate further. It's those joys of full-time work and priorities and all that sort of jazz. It is on my list of things to do. So, these nets here, we, we try to keep them... It is relatively informal, but we also do try to just put a little bit of a structure to it as well. So, each Thursday, we not, we usually try and run for a, th a, a particular theme. Now, lately, the theme has been... It's either been field day or just a general, what have you been up to? But um, a, a topic that I have seen and I think could, could work out to be quite creative and it could be quite fun or quite more, but depending on how you look at it, is we have POTA, SOTA, SIOTA. So that will be parks on the air, summits of the air, silos on the air, and also WWFF, so worldwide flora and fauna, is what could be another creative on the air activity that, that you think might be popular? So that could be anything from police stations on the air to pubs on the air or something. That could actually be quite fun. But so that 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 will go for that topic tonight. It's a little bit of fun and a little bit different. So what we're going to do is let's chase for check-ins via the two meter repeater. So if you are listening to this on the VK2 RAG repeater and did wish to check in for this evening's net, please go ahead, but just so, so be mindful to let the repeater breathe for a moment. VK2FDWY VK2XOR Beautiful, okay, so I had VK2FDWY, VK2XOR and also VK2MG uh, were there any other stations there that did wish to drop in for this drop in for this evening? Uh, please go ahead now. Alrighty, so they've had no other no other takers. So let's go. Let's head over there to today. VK2FDWY, VK2NMZ. So good morning there, Dave, mate. I hope that you are well and that you have been keeping out of trouble. Hey, what's what's news in the life of you? How have you been? And for the other for yourself, there is what on what fun on the air activity do you think that that doesn't exist now that could probably exist at some point in time? VK2FDWY, VK2NMZ. VK2MNZ. Well, I've been okay work, work, work wise here. Um, the, everything's okay, playing around with the batteries and the, taking the system out from the uh, bush and portable and so forth and doing 110,000 things. And uh, ducking down to Sydney a couple of times. And that, um, remember I told you about that dairy down at um, Penangle Park? Well, it's got portable cameras and solar panels up and TV cameras and all these signs keep out and this, that, and the other. Um, so, I don't know, I think something we could probably do is, you've done bushwalkers, you've had uh, car clubs, you've had other systems and radio clubs and so on. I'm not all that creative, um, creative-wise in what uh, to go on. What I can do, I'll get this together in a minute. I'm not being all that creative in coming up with a, a suggestion that could be 
unique. You've, what about if you've got the doctors on there or the nurses who are um, radio club and so forth, or the uh, the hospital staff and so forth? Um, different. Um, yeah, that's probably something I can think of because actually I don't give it much op- much thought. I just sort of hear people on the air, and if they're on the air and I can talk to them well and good, I don't sort of think of what ways can I come up with that would be uniquely different, apart from those that I've just mentioned. But no, are the garbage truck drivers on air club or something? Is that what you're hoping to find or hear about? VK2MZ, VK2FDWY. VK2FDWY. VK2 NMZ. Oh dear, garbage, garbage trucks on the air. So if if you if you if you're talking in a truck of trash, do you use do you use like a a Baofeng or something like that as well? Um, but no, it's that that could that's that's definitely a um you know that 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 is quite a quite a possibility and there's several ideas and yeah there's so many options of things that we could that you could go off and look at but you know, nurses nurses on the air garbage trucks on the air make good stuff on, on being out and about and i suppose if you've gone to that particular site and you have seen that there's been portable cameras and size signs saying keep out so they i'd say dare say they've had that they've had a, a few issues with you know, pe- people accessing and gaining access to that location and having a few issues with it, but it's that's all good. It's it's at least you're able to jump in, then you're able to find out what was there, and it's a bit of interesting adventures. So, Dave, mate, thank you very much for that. I really do appreciate that. Now, they have had a couple of a couple of comments as well. Uh, got an email from someone f- uh, that he worked who was doing beaches on the air, so boater. That works. And uh, beaches on the air is a thing. Uh, what else have we got here? We also have islands on the air. So the Australian mainland is OC001. And there's been some discussions of backyards on the air as well. And mills on the air is a thing as too. So oh, there, there's definitely quite a few things. And there, there's a little bit of background to why I thought of this topic, which we'll, we'll go into, which I'll go into a little bit later. So what we'll do here is we'll hand this over to Max, VK2XOR, VK2, VK2 NMZ. And for we, we've got a person here who's dropped a comment on here, which doesn't really meet up with with this net, so I don't know why that's happening. So that comment there isn't really appropriate, so I'm gonna make that disappear. Uh, VK2XOR, VK2NMZ. VK2NMZ and the net, VK2XOR. Good evening, Brad, and um, gosh, I've already forgotten who else was on the net, apologies. Brain's a little bit shot. <clears throat> I've had a pretty busy work day, first work day back from being sick, and um, then uh, got roped into helping do um, tech support for my mother-in-law over the phone. And uh, now, as usual, it's kids' bedtime, so I do need to jet off to that. But I just wanted to drop in and say hello, and I hope everybody's been doing well. Shame about the um, ill-placed comment there. I would like to think that most of us are a bit uh, better than that. But um, anyway... Um, yeah, Bota was a new one for me, Beaches on the Air, hadn't heard of it before, but, uh, you know, kind of a newer, oh, well, I thought it was a newer program, and but um, I think it's at least two years old now. Um, I saw Gerard's already in the, in the, in the log for that, so, um, but, uh, yeah, it's funny, there was a, a, a beach that I was <coughs> working from the other day, didn't realize it's actually a Bota activation spot, or near enough where I was standing, but, um, other ones, not sure. Maybe uh, rooftops on the air for people who um, are a bit more urban and have a harder time getting away uh, to some parks and things like that. <clears throat> Maybe something to incentivize people to just get on the radio and talk. You know, even just uh, UHF and VHF have some designated, designated well-known rooftops in the cities. And uh, maybe you get extra multipliers if you talk to somebody in a different uh, city or, or, you know, sub-city, you know. Um, you point, a, point a directional antenna over to um, someone from, you know, some rooftop in Sydney to over in Parramatta or something. Or Melbourne. <laughs> Who knows? Just a thought. 
Um, not a whole lot else to report here. Um, Got to go do kids' bedtime, like I said, but um, D-Star stuff chugging along well. Did some good tests this afternoon. Things are looking very good, um, so stay tuned. Hopefully we'll have a, a usage guide and things like that. And thank you to the folks who've helped um, with the testing so far. VK2NMZ from VK2XOR. VK2XOR. VK2NMZ. Oh, good there, Max. All oh, good, and uh, it's a bummer of you being of you being a bit sick, and glad that you've, you're coming off and you've been you're a bit recovered now. So, very very glad to hear that. And yeah, it's a uh, it's it's really been quite an interesting quite an interesting thing. And I know that yeah, your last couple of days have, de- have definitely been very busy at work. So, mate, absolutely, buddy, run off and um, you know, go, go off and go and get smallies off to bed. And you're and you're absolutely and yeah for the for, as Max Van Offer mentioned is D, is D Star for those D Star users that are on the Central Coast is where very very the the system is is getting is still sick, but it is getting much better than than what it was previously and and we'll be soon releasing a a really a a, a new defined terms of use with uh, with regards to the usage of that repeater and that digital service. So thank you very much there again, yeah, Max. As as to reiterate there to the other people that have been helping out with this as well, it's been a long work in the background uh, for many of us who who are trying to trying to do this in our very incredibly insanely limited spare time. So thank you to those that have been doing that. Alrighty, Max seven three, and hope you have a great night. And we'll head over there to Alan. But before we do that, is I will just do a call out that I can see that we've got a VK five ZMI Mike from Adelaide who's dropped in to say good day. So hello there, Mike. Mate. Glad that, you could, that you're able to come along. Welcome to the CCARC net. So, oh dear me, so it's a bit of a madhouse here. So I'm glad you're able to come along. Okay, Alan, mate, over to you. VK two MG, VK two NMZ. VK2MG, the VK2NMZ. So they have humps on the air. So that that's definitely a yeah, that, that that's really a first. I don't think I've 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 ever heard of that one there before. So that's a yeah that that that's quite a, that's quite quite an interesting one. And 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 I think the, the backyards of the air. It's Oh mate, there, yeah, there, there's so many, so many options that you that we've got. So I think really what the now the the background to why I thought of this, uh, what what came about this topic and why I thought of it, is on uh, via the on social media there was a comment, there was a comment there which got uh, it did get shut down very very fast. It, it wasn't very successful, but I did manage to nab a, a grab of it. 
is someone mentioned there's parks on the air and there's summits on the air. Why uh, why don't they why don't why isn't there cemetery cemeteries on the air or churches on the air? And and that's really what my what my thought process came off and thought of with uh, is what other random on the air activity could you could you do? Say for example, now this is something which is probably a little bit out of line, but but it, and it, and, but it's I'll just go for it anyway. Is say for example, if you did, if you did an event like pubs on the air, is you could it, you it could be an incentive to win multiple points or bonus rounds, or for any activities that you may particip, partake in at that particular venue before moving on. So I don't know how how well it would be at towards the end of the day for the participant, but you would definitely need a some form of designated driver. So that's real. That one really that's really my um, what the angle that I was going with that, uh, really, I guess for for myself, so we've gone to the bottom of the list. It's just a bit of info for me and what I've been up to is very, very, very busy with things. Uh, worker for my my workplace has been very has been quite chaotic these last few days, especially um, I've I've been run off my feet because of the 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 weather and everything that's been happening in Victoria that's that's made that's made my workload very very busy I'm um, looking definitely looking forward to winding the winding the weekends down uh, I've going on a little bit of a trip away so I've, uh, I'm looking I'm looking forward to that and I think for any people out there that do like to 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 run and play on FT8 is well, Monday Tuesday Wednesday is I'll be using <coughs> Uh, VK100 AF uh, for the special event station call sign. So just, just a little, a little something there as well. So all, all quite good, and, uh, and I'm glad that we've been able to get quite a few people along and dropping into to to say hello there. <laughs> okay, so um, so what we'll do then is I'll is we'll reach the we've gone off and we've reached the bottom of the list. And that was called a timeout, my friends. So we've reached we've reached the bottom of the list. So let's go off and let's do a call out to see if there is anybody else here that did wish to join the net this evening. This is VK2 NMZ for the Central Coast Amateur Radio Club Thursday evening, two meter net. Oh, VK2 November Romeo Charlie. And acknowledging Bob VK2 NRC. Alrighty, Bob, mate. Well, we're 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 at the bottom of the of the list. So let let's go. Let's head over to you, VK2 NRC, VK2 NMZ. Bob, I hope that you have been well and have been keeping out of trouble. Um, I did see that you've that you dropped. I hope the um the the AGM for Waverley was good. I did see a, a sneaky picture there of you sitting in the background. And. And I guess uh, we'll put the question there to you, Bob. Is we have Pota, Sota, Sayota. Uh, you've got beaches on the air and the likes of that. What other sort of on the creative on the air activity um, do you could you think of that might be a little bit fun? Over to you, mate. VK2 NRC, VK2 NMZ. Uh, VK2 NMZ, VK2. VK2 
VK2, NRC, VK2, NMZ. Well, good stuff, good work there uh, and on the, the TAFE examination there, Bob, and I really do hope that it's a... Uh, that that it, that it is uh, that you do end up passing it, and that that's I, I think that's I, I did that when I had a I had a procedure and I was and I was in hospital for a couple of days and while I didn't uh, I ended up bringing along a hotspot and a DMR radio for me in the ward, so um, but unfortunately I didn't have the room to myself so I didn't really get much time to play with that which was unfortunate so um but it's good good to it's good to come drop in and good to see you on there now Alan uh. Has provi has given a very very good um, a, a, a quite a, quite a good suggestion for you know X on the air. Now that's it. That suggestion was so we've got Bota. You could have Kota um, or Kluota clubs on the air. So this could be this could definitely be a, an activity where you and you you'd probably need to work it on HF bands, but uh, uh, you know, uh, statewide club-based activities, or even Australia-wide, where you could get multiple clubs out in the open and try to work in as many other as many other radio amateur radio clubs, of you know, uh, across Australia. I, I think that is a fantastic idea. That that would be that would be really really good. And and then yeah, you could get multipliers for eighty, or if you're very creative, if you can get contacts on one sixty. But um. I really like that idea. That that's 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 really really good. So thank you very much for that, Alan. I think that's I think that's an excellent response. So thank you very much there again, Bob, and thank you, Alan, for that for that suggestion there before. So let's head over. So what we'll do is let's move back to Dave VK two F D W Y VK two NMZ. Mate, there for the second round. Did you have any other thoughts, questions, or comments at all, or anything like that with what we've discussed this evening? Over to you. couple of things I was thinking about um, the dining room wait staff on the air and kitchen hands and saucer chefs and so forth types of things on the air but the other night I was um, watched a movie I found out by chance that it was on it was called six minutes to midnight and I thought yeah I'll go and check that thing it was touching on the BDM which is a um, the story that I'm also thinking of writing or working on but anyway um, when I reviewed the uh, when I watched the, the film, uh, it was like I'd seen it before, but in black and white. So it's, um, I did some research. You know, there's been no other films of it being done anywhere. So it's just a case of it's in colour and it's just recently released. But there was so much um, of the actual film that I was familiar. But also they got some of the actresses in that who were in the, the BDM group. And they were very much closely look-alikes to people who were actually in that part of the period of time that were in books in black and white photos. So it was interesting to see the similarities and reality of what they were touching on. But um, apart from that, I, there's nothing else I can think about. Apart from my computer, I've got to tell you about this. I um, got Windows 10, as I mentioned before, and got this new um, system trend micro security system added to it. Still getting a bloody a hacker coming through and breaching the system, and I'm on the thing, and I'm going through the mouse, and the mouse is going through the screen. This other mouse symbol comes up on it, and I was going through some old emails that were. I kept a lot of old emails and stuff on a, a file that was there for whatever, and it was taking up heaps of that G, big G free um, storage thing, like two percent. So I decided to go through and re delete all these stored emails. And I was in one of them, and the security come up and said, "There's a breach in this," and you know, deleted. And there was another breach in that. So I think maybe that's how the back door was open. But um, having removed those, a lot of those, I'm not having as much of the, the uninvited crowd coming across. Apart from that, there's nothing else I can think of. VK2 MNZ, VK2 FTWA. VK2 RAG, Summersby. VK2 FDWI, VK2 NMZ. Well, that's that's quite an interesting thing with the with, with the, the 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 extra access to your PC, even with a new computer. So there's there's definitely something going on, something going on there, 
So, but what it would be there, there's so many options and, you know, there's so many things of what it could be. It's, it would be very, very hard to, to try and pin that down as to what exactly the root cause is, but hopefully, hopefully you're able to find out, find out something there. So, and Six Minutes to Midnight is, is I haven't heard of that movie, so I'm definitely going to need to go off and look that up and see, and yeah, and, and see what that one is, is all about. So thank you very much there, Dave, for that for that suggestion. Is or well, check that out. But uh, we had, you know, kitchen stuff and and whatnot on the air. So uh, from I I see I see the angle that you're coming from. Absolutely do. Probably not quite what I was looking at. But if you do that, you could probably go down to King's Cross and and have other sort of venues on the air. But um, but you don't. But you'd get very limited points for that one. <laughs> Anyways, um, I digress for that before right, before we get too out of control with that. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, Max has disappeared to to go off and put Smallies to to bed, so I'll pass on Max there, and we'll head over there to Alan, VK2MG, VK2NMZ. Mate, did you have any other thoughts, questions, or comments at all uh, about anything that we've discussed tonight? Over to you, mate. VK2 NMZ, VK2 MG, just try and have a look at his meter here for, oh yeah, it's WR on two meters, is not too bad. Um, yeah, okay, I didn't think that was, that was, um, that was me made that session, it was Adam Willis, okay. Uh, I was thinking, where's that coming from? And uh, don't do that to me while I'm talking, Brad. <laughs> I'm getting, um, I'm getting Facebook messages here that I probably can't repeat. <laughs> It, um, yeah, I'm also hearing myself on about a 10 second delay, so I should turn that down. Uh, the only thing, I posted a link there for the, for the um, Humps Excluding Maryland's Award, which is explained on there what that actually means. The unfortunate thing is, while I use a, um, a hump in New South Wales as an example, we don't have a New South Wales coordinator yet. So, um, there's a, as a result of that, there are some none listed in New South Wales. I guess there's an opening if anybody's really interested in doing that. Um, time? No, I don't have time for that. I'm too busy doing other things. Um, yeah, the only other thing I wanted to mention is I was having some fun. Um, I, Gerard's driving up the coast and doing a whole lot of parks during the day, so keep an ear out and keep an eye on parks and peaks. We're getting, uh, getting a few new parks up there that he's doing. And I noticed on 40 metres it was just um, really quiet and I didn't have any noise and that was unusual and as I was unplugging the, um, the HF antenna to plug the VHF in for the night, started unscrewing it and all of a sudden it came good and I mean, hmm, maybe we've got a plug issue here I need to look at. Anyway, uh, VK2 and MZ, VK2 MG. VK2 MG. VK2 NMZ. Oh wow! So I'm 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 going to need to have a bit of a hunt round for Gerard. So I would love some of the location, some of the the location where I'm going this weekend. I would love to be able to do some HF stuff, but definitely on a on quite a restricted time frame. So I've, I'll be on D I'll be on DMR, but yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely no HF stuff there. So uh, New South Wales coordinator, that sounds like someone who's probably got a, f a fair bit of time for them and is up for a few adventures. So that's definitely, that's I'm up for adventures, but I have absolutely no time for it. Alrighty, and a fun thing there as well for Gerard, like if, you've, if you've never met Gerard, he is an absolutely lovely fellow, very, very switched on, always beacons at APRS modules via on um, 30 meters and and he's and it's relayed via a VK5 station I believe so really really cool guy um, thank you very much for that Alan and we'll head over there to Bob for the second round there VK2 NRC VK2 NMZ Bob did you have any other thoughts questions or comments at all with anything that we've discussed tonight over to you mate VK2 NMZ, VK2, NRC. Uh, yeah, um, I missed what Alan said about something about a con coordinator. Was that for parks on the air or um, something like that? I, I missed the, the subject line, so to speak. The important part, uh, got a bit of static over it. But, uh, yeah, and uh, 
chances, but uh, they're not a terribly tough pass, and they seem to die so, and it's uh, been a bit of a slog to get them out, which is a few things, but uh, um, yeah, I'm pleased with that, so I'm just sort of finding this, um, they come together pretty well. Um, oh, with the um, roost on the air, in the, uh, you're going to have contests, uh, and uh, how would you go for um, um, more points for uh, tall roofs rather than uh, metal roofs? And uh, um, another thing too, uh, when Haddock had the, um, I think it's the 100th anniversary of um, uh, getting the uh, morse from, um, I think it was Wales or Ireland, I think it was, through to uh, uh, Waitara in Sydney, uh, where they had the celebration and all that was actually in a church and they had um, aerials up onto the, um, uh, what would you call it, the bell tower. So uh, not in a church sort of person or not up on those. But, uh, yeah, so that's a different house for two churches in there. I know um, where I grew up, they had a community radio which was uh, um, based at one of the uh, local churches there and they had their antenna as part of the cross on the top of the bell tower. So there's a couple of other ideas for you. Ah, back here, VK2 and NZ for VK2 and RC. VK2 NRC for VK2 NMZ. Well, I knew about the. I think that that's probably a. The for uh, that that can actually be quite an interesting one for any of those any of those folks that do, that do go off and do frequently do the commute to um. To Sydney, is you've got, is basically that there, there is a mark there is a monument for um. Uh, for Marconi, and that's it. That's that. There is at Warunga, just off the freeway. So basically, you you can pretty you can pretty well go off and turn as soon as you get off the freeway and you pass the water towers. Uh, yeah, the the you, you turn left down near the shops and you're and you can very quickly make your way down to see the the monument there. So definitely quite an interesting one for you to um, check out for any of those any of those commuters. It was a centenary of the first radio transmission by Marconi from Wales to Australia, and that was celebrated on the 22nd of September 2018. So there's a little bit of history for you. Okie dokie. So so we're at the, we've we've gone off and we've reached the 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 very very the very end here. Uh, was there anybody else here? That, that did wish to join in on tonight's two meter net before I close it down. And this is VK2 NMZ for the Central Coast Amateur Radio Club Thursday evening two meter net. Oh, VK2 Alrighty, Bob, mate. It seems like it's it's just you, so. Hey, go ahead. Just on that um, one, just the next to the one I met, I just uh, got the suburbs mixed up. But uh, I didn't know that that was, they were putting a park up there. Was that at the house um, across the road from the church? Because that's actually where... Um, trying to think of his name and not quite give it a name like that. That's where he lived and he was the boss of AWA or something at the time. But he actually, that's where he took the, uh, um, made the transmissions from to Marconi. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I just can't think of his name. So it's now it started with this and it's something like that. Uh, yeah, it's quite an interesting, uh, to the whole thing if you get a chance to look into it a bit more too. 
VK2 NRC, VK2 NMZ, absolutely mate, so it was, the, it's actually, well technically it's the Fisk Memorial, okay, so, and what it was, that was the first direct wireless message from Prime Minister, Prime Minister W.M. Hughes, which was commenting on the valour of Australian troops at Amons, and that was sent under the direction of Manchese Marconi from the Marconi Wireless Station in, in Carnarvon, is that a, yeah, Carnarvon, Wales, and it was received by E.T. Fisk in the experimental wireless station he had at this residence. Uh, now, Ernest Fisk was the managing director of the Amalgamated Wireless Australia, or AWA. And for a fun fact is, if you listen to the, to the ARNSW broadcast on 40 metres AM, these are actually put done by some AWA transmitters, and they are very big, very old, very, very cool. And the monument is in Warunga on the corner of Sturt Street and Cleveland Streets, and was and was de and the monument was the dedication date uh, was the was on the 14th of December 1935. So nice little spot there, and it really is just off the freeway as well. So you, you're uh, you're only just down the road from it, so you'll get there only within a matter of minutes. <coughs> so. Thank you very much there, Bob. Uh, mate, did you have any other questions at all before I before I keep on moving? Uh, VK2NRC, VK2NMZ. VK2 NRC, VK2 NMZ. Well, mate, as far as I as far as I know, I haven't heard anything different. Is that it will be happening tomorrow night from 7:30 p.m. I think one of the difficult things is is the repeater that it's on 146.125 is a is a shared Weisen frequency. So you may also have issues because you might get, end up getting interference from some other local repeaters around the Sydney Basin area that also run that same frequency as well. But yes, that definitely it is set to 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 be on the air. Um, but yes, I, I'll definitely flick that feedback through. But it's I think it's um yeah, quite one of those difficult ones to to run with. And I did see something about the the ISS running slow scan TV again soon. So as soon as that happens, is I will be is uh, when I'm at work and whatnot. Is I'll probably end up leaving the radio on and having MMSS TV sitting there running all day. So what could that be? Motor? Uh, motor for monuments on the air? There, there needs to be something for Loktar of L-O-K-T-A-R. Um, that could work, although... Or is it... Is it is a yeah L O K T A R Lukta on the air, but um, it's, that's really something that only some um, very geeky people will probably would probably get. But anywho's Bob, mate, thank you very much for dropping by. I'm glad I was able to do that and definitely and help you out and definitely for those folks there that are interested in getting out or, or 
have a creative idea. I think it might be uh, could uh, whether it will get up in it will get off the air is <laughs> get off the ground or not. But I think it is quite a, a a good idea to bring that option out there, and it really tries to you know it would really encourage into club activities. Alrighty, so I think that I think we might call that. I'd, I'll just do one last call out and see if there is any other stations before I close it off. Uh, VK two NMZ looking for any other stations for the CCARC net. Opening it up for the floor now. If you're asking about that coordinator thing that I mentioned, that was for the um, for the Humphrey facility, Maryland thing. There's a link to the um, to that on the uh, on the uh, video VK two MG. Uh, VK2 MG, VK2 NMZ. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, yeah, for that there, Bob. Uh, Hema. Yeah. Dot org. Dot uk. And uh, for the other question there, Lokta. L o k t a r. Um, that that was a reference to Warcraft. Uh, for any of those for any of those gamers out there. But alrighty, the time is 8:43 p.m. and we've had it's been a very quick net, but unfortunately, uh, with Echo Link being down and out for the count at the moment, it makes it very difficult to 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 try and bring it up. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna shut this net down. We've got 8:43 p.m. So th I wanted to say thank you very much to everybody that has taken the time to drop by this evening. Uh, it's your your presence there is absolutely appreciated. And we'll catch you same bat time, same bat channel next Thursday. Hope everyone takes care and has a great week. This is VK2NMZ returning the repeater back to general use and saying 7-3. Good night.